It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Los Angeles Rams. And it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Washington Commanders and the Los Angeles Rams. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. from SoFi Stadium. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And he carries this one passing midfield stripe and into commander territory. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Stafford. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. Well, they're staring up at a third and long. He'll get this complete to Cooper. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. A first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 26. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. For the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll go again with Gibson. And he'll get about three up past the 25. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Powell throwing on third down here. will be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Fielded just inside the 30. So, tug on the face mask, and that's going to cost him 15 yards. And sometimes it'll go unnoticed, but that one, pretty obvious for everyone to see. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Back to throw, Stafford. Pass caught, it's Ben Skoranek. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Here's 
There's a run with Akers on second down. And some room to maneuver. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. From the red zone now, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far on this drive. This Ready. offense on the march. Second and goal from inside the five. Akers again. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. They'll look to run with Akers. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. Uh, I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and, try and think with them here. Try to play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. Now throwing on first down here. That's going to be caught by Samuel. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. On second down, a run with Gibson. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's going to have a commander's first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. On first down, Hal. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. For the play fake, and now here's Hal to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Powell. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 35. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Second down. Hal now. Samuel bringing in the slant. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 14. Give him 18 on the play. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Second and six from the 10. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing. Touchdown, Washington. Ten. From 
10 yards out. And the Commanders have taken the lead. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Stafford. Man open. It's cup. He's got it. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. the shotgun here's a give to Akers and he'll get it down here to the 43 46 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries this offense finding its legs now here's another first and ten going right back to Akers and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it the last run got a couple here's second and eight Stafford now to throw Oh, the Commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Chase Young in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And it's intercepted. take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Well, and I saw the pressure coming out, and that just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure... Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. There's Jones, and the Rams are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Yeah, it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points CD. If you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Throwing a Stafford. That'll be caught. It's caught. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. Throwing again a Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. They'll run on first down with Akers. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Throwing on second and eight. Stafford, touchdown on Rams. Stafford finding Cooper Cup for the touchdown there. And the Rams will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. The extra point up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. So the drive there took six plays. And it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. 
And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Commanders back out late in this first half. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Now Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Al's throw into the hands of McLaurin. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. First down, Hal to throw. That's out to the flat for Gibson. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Throwing again on second down. Powell. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. This one through, and that will knot us up at 10. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. So, no, I'm not mad at you for skipping halftime, but can I just have a sip of water real quick, please? Thank you. All right, let's go. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their 25-yard line. Second half starts with a run by Gibson. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. They'll run with Gibson. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted. So Sometimes your hands get too involved. So a stop here defensively to start this third quarter, just what's needed in a tie ball game. Yeah, a good chance to build back some momentum on the defensive side of the ball. In fact, what they've done is give their offense a nice push in the back as they get ready to take the field. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Stafford. Open man is Skoranek. He's got it. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's Stafford. And he'll be hit as he releases it. 
And that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw it through contact and short of the sticks. offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Second down, Hal back to pass. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. This will be caught at Samuel. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. A give up the middle to Gibson. And not much running room. Down to the 32. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Powell throwing on third down here. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And a... Take over here, just shy of the 30. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. The commander's bringing out the nickel package on third down. Off of play action, here's Stafford. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. On first down, it's Stafford. Got a man open, it's Tyler Higby. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. A give up the middle to Akers. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. 69 yards on the ground for him so far. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. They'll go again here with Akers. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 20-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. 
They'll try and run for this with Akers. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Here we go on fourth. Stanford. Yeah. Throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Commanders come through with a fourth down stand. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to find the end zone. A field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter deficit. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. And the Rams defense gets to him again behind the line of scrimmage. Third and 15 coming up after that loss of two. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Got his target, Samuel. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. On second and nine, Powell. This a quick slant, and he's got Terry McCoy. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Straight ahead, Gibson. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. A handoff for Gibson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Once more, Gibson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. And here's a give to Gibson. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And Howe will throw it. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Well, Aaron Donald just so strong they can't block him, and he records the sack. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't it? He certainly has. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Hal throwing for it. And this is caught. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So now Stafford and the Rams down 18-17, 2 12 to play. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Out of the gun, Stafford. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now it's Stafford. Flush to his right. 
completes this to Jefferson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a big third down conversion with a gain of 28. Stafford going to give this to Akers. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Stafford now to throw. And he rifles one incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure every... page five yards not enough and it'll be fourth down so now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming and this kick is not gonna get there it's short and no good and that'll keep this a one-point game that was a masterful drive just to get down to this spot you put your kicker in a place where you think okay he's gonna win the game for us not meant to be and it was a masterful drive. They did exactly what they were supposed to do and got their kicker set up at a distance. Frankly, they expect him to be able to make that kick in today's NFL. He didn't deliver. That's a tough pill for them to swallow. On first down, right back to Gibson to about the 48-yard line. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. On second down, a run with Gibson. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. 